वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वी नो कंडीशन इफ कंडीशन वन इज ट्रू ट्रू दे डू दिस बट इफ इट इज फॉल्स डू समथिंग एल्स और रन अनदर कंडीशन समथिंग लाइक दिस राइट न्यू कंडीशन कैन बी हैंडल्ड इन डिफरेंट वेज इन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड हेयर आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स You can use any one to evaluate conditions in your applications. First, the most important and the most common one is if else statement. Here is the code example. In this example, we have a variable x equal to five. Then, with the help of this if condition, we are checking that x is greater than ten or not. In this case, as x equal to five, so this condition is false. and the execution will not go inside the if block then it will go to the else if condition and check if the x is lesser than 5 which is again not true so finally in this case it will go to the else condition and it will print 3 as the output this we we call if else condition the second type of conditional statement in java script is the ternary operator here we have a variable y equal to 20 now we will create a new variable z or z which will first ch check whether y is greater than 10 so this is a condition in this y equal to this case y equal to 20 so the condition is true and if the condition is true then the first value just after this question mark will be the result right now it is 1 here but suppose y equal to, is equal to 5 then 5 is greater than 10 will uh, will be false this condition will be false and in that case the value next to this colon symbol which is zero will be the final value of the z that is a ternary ternary operator then the third type of the condition is the switch statement here you can see we have a variable a equal to 5 now inside the switch statement we will accept the a variable value like this and will check it case by case if a is equal to 1 which is which it is not right therefore it will not execute this case code then the next case is true because a equal to 5 which is true therefore execution will go inside this case and print 2 on the console then this break statement will exit the code from the switch statement listen carefully if we do not put the break key keyword here then the this next case or the default statement will also be executed and in that case the output will be 2 and then 3 also so that's it and yes here the last default will be executed when none of the above case statements are true or fulfilled that is the difference between these three types of conditional it statements in javascript